Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back. Today I got a brand new series for you which is going to be all about showcasing your builds on the Darwin Reforged server. Today I'm here with Duke on Red 1 and we're going to showcase Santa Santi's 92 beautiful realistic castle here on the Darwin Reforged server. So this is uh, Berg Riefenstein aka Castle Tasso in South Tyrol, Italy. A plot built by Santi92. It's in real life counterpart was one of the best preserved castles in the region and was first mentioned in scriptures from the 12th century. It is located on the top of a hill south of the medieval city of Sturzing Viptinio and was surrounded by a bog. Together with the castles Sprinstenstein and Thunberg, it was responsible for securing the roads to and from the city. The oldest part of the castle, the donjon, was built in the 12th century. The residential quarters, on the other hand, were built in the 15th century. The castle doesn't have direct access to a fresh water source for this reason. A cistern was built, which occupies the entirety of the inner courtyard. The outside of the project is mostly a recreation of the in real life counterpart. The interior, on the other hand, is my own design. Some rooms, like the kitchen for the green hall, were inspired by the existing rooms of the castle. So with that being said, we are here starting to, to walk towards the castle. There's a lot of stuff we can watch and look at on the way there. This landscape There's so much beautiful. atmosphere in this plot. It's incredible. The detail is phenomenal. I love the bog. It would be so difficult to siege a castle like this as you can't really get an army through such um, dense terrain as you can see there. Yeah. And just like adding the fog blocks or cloud blocks to make it a little bit hard to look at kind of, just adds so much. Oh, that's so weird. I can't see it in my shaders. It must it, be the uh, the fog blocks must disappear for me. Oh yeah, the water is really weird. But yeah, um, yeah just. But I so can cool. see the hit boxes where the uh, fog blocks are supposed to be, but the shaders just see right through them. Check out my video, guys, <laughs> if you want to see the fog. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Vigo's video. Shameless plug right <laughs> there. And uh, then there's a small building here. I get. I guess this is the only building except the castle here. So we can check that out as some kind of warm up. I love this interior. It's oh, so yeah. rustic feeling. Check this out. Like this is actually how bedding would have been uh, in, as far as I'm aware in the medieval era, it would be just very communal like that. And it wouldn't be actual beds. It would just be kind of a uh, riffraff all thrown on the floor. Yeah. Uh, this is so nice. Love it. No bits. king size beds here. <laughs> but it, it just sure. feels so alive. You know, the people living here actually looks like they're doing something, working. Like this right here. Perfect. And it looks like a multitude of activity. It's not like a specific type deal where like it's just a house that does, I don't know, a tannery or uh, a carpenter. It looks like something that has a multitude of activity where they do all kinds of things and have just equipment for everything. Yeah, like And that's what's really neat farm. about a true farmhouse in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Well, let's move Love on. Love these chickens back here. <laughs> oh, they're so fat, <laughs> chubby. <laughs> it's so nice. I am so surprised that we can have stuff like this. Like, you know, this this is an example of proper texturing. I love that design. Yeah. I think Patrick's made these, right? I don't know, man. But I'm using them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're so nice. They really work. <laughs> Especially since we can't have entities, aka or not entities, but uh, mobs. Yeah, I guess you can't have actual mobs chickens running around your plot, can you? No, you can't. So you got to build them. Well, let's move up oh, here. I love this. This is why up. we're here. Oh, look at the view from here, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. That beautiful. Castle Riefenstein. It's so nice to actually have a proper background for this castle. Yeah. Stuff like that really brings it into uh, perspective. Before we go up there, should we check out this small sideway here? Or Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just a cliff. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> off the plot. <laughs> But I, I, even stuff like that, um, the way that he framed in the plot is really quite tactful. When you come up the path here, it could have just gone straight off the yeah. plot and would have lost immersion. It didn't but know did before we were on the edge. The hill up, yeah. And it really made a neat little uh, effect there, trying to um, bring the uh, the player or the observer explorer to go left. Yeah, and also just look at the texturing of the mountain here. It looks super realistic with different patches of. Uh, different kind of stones. And it really went wild in with the, the vertical slabs and yeah. trap doors and such. It really has a smooth shape to it. Had some time on his hand. Look at his Check poor this, colors uh, here. Check this gatehouse out. Wow. 
That is just beautiful. And love this uh, little, it's kind of like a makeshift portcullis. Yeah. It's it's as if the masonry wasn't specifically designed for the portcullis, but what they wanted is the portcullis. And so they <laughs> added it to the front and made just a little scaffolding there. And that works so well. It might I've never fit... actually thought of doing that. Yeah, it might fit with the lore since it's a very old castle. I don't think portcullis is, is like a super old thing. So maybe we'd have to redo it and add portcullis later. That does make sense. Yeah, yeah it is more of an advanced technology, so that definitely yeah. does have a. Uh, that definitely is true. Now check out this counterweight system. Again, something that I don't, I don't personally usually do for portcullises, but it is definitely a realistic system and yeah. is necessary for a proper design. I love that. It's the uh, way for the portcullis to close, or I'm um, sorry, open or close technically really quickly. Yeah, it just kind of release a lot of the weight so you can easily pull it by hand. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And a small camp up here, I guess. Lovely little tent, yes. I love and how, then, uh, you make your... how uh, worn ahead. down everything looks like. It looks like some kind of ruin almost. And they've it's kind very of... very old. Yeah. I love these crenellations. The, um, the little spots where you can shoot through are so yeah. well done. It looks like you can just throw rocks down or maybe pour a bucket of oil down on the enemies up against the wall. So well designed. Yeah, it's beautiful. So much inspiration right here. Gonna take a lot of this into my build. And it's so neat that the walls are so organic is they're not just straight, etc. It's actually uh, very well, um, like, it's like, not necessarily would you say planned out, but it's planned out. It's hard, it's like a, it's like an oxymoron type deal. It's, it's very uh, purposefully built. Yeah, and it kind of follows the terrain nicely and uses the terrain as a defense, I guess, like the, the canyon here and just kind of uses the whole landscape, builds into the landscape a lot. I really like the canyon between the bailey and the castle. It just has such a defensive uh, nature to it. Yeah. And uh, it could have actually been, maybe, um, maybe it's a man-made canyon. Possibly it was the quarry they used in order to build the foundations to the castle. That could be stuff man. like that's just a really interesting yeah. thought to uh, you know maybe you can you know, maybe that's the purpose if i were to build i love this, this drawbridge yeah this, <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful if i were to build this canyon here i would have spikes and stuff down there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that would definitely brutal. um increase its effectiveness for sure yeah but yeah this drawbridge here, what was the name of it again uh it's burlash burlash i i forget honestly i just looked it up <laughs> But yeah, I totally forget. But it's just a neat Bascule. little counterweight Bascule. system back here. Bascule, yeah, yes. that's the word. There we go. And here again can see that the counterweights great. here. Super realistic. I really want to go up and check out that system. I'm going to do a little bit of flying here. Let's see if I can find just a way Just check up. this out. Look at that design. That is so nice. Hmm, I wonder how we get up there. That is a good question. There has to be a way to get to the top of the wall. No, there's... You know what I've noticed, actually? the There's arrow oh, yeah. slits inside the wall that have no way to get to them. Yeah, I just saw that. Uh, this is a maybe they are here. designed for, um, like, may maybe they are there not necessarily for warfare, or, like, only for warfare. So they put scaffolding back here yeah. when there's actually an attack. But while it's peacetime, they remove that scaffolding in order to maximize space for, it looks like, farms? I guess so. Uh, that would make sense. Come up here, Did you, you saw the grinding stone here, acting like a lever. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. Systems yes. like this just really are amazing. You know, you really utilize things in Minecraft and Conquest Reforged just adds so much possibilities yeah. and allows you to design these systems so realistically. Very impressed by this guy. Love it. And the houses as well, just looks so nice and organic and you know, none of them is really built on an angle. Or everyone is built on an angle, I guess, like... No None of them are lines. completely straight. It's yeah. all an organic type feel, as if it's flowing with the wall. It's flowing with the terrain, more or less, yeah. instead of the terrain working with the build. Um, he really does a good job utilizing the terrain instead of utilizing the castle on mm. the terrain. You know, it's, it's not... Uh, you see a lot of times floating castles or floating builds basically with yeah. terrain that just doesn't fit and he does so nicely and this must be some kind of blacksmith i love the the furnace here 
Yeah, I imagine this guy would be making the nice little weapons for uh, the castle, but I imagine his main job is to um, fit the uh, horses with some shoes or maybe some nails, n miscellaneous uh, useful things in order to yeah. maintain the castle. And he has a small living quarters upstairs as well. The, the woodwork of the roof here, or ceiling. Just I really so like organic. that, yeah. Uh, and the then, trusses really are quite nice, I like that a lot. Yeah, and he also has entrance or exit, I guess, to, um, to some arrow slits here, and there's another one over there, so... In case I would war. hate to be in this house during an attack, <laughs> you know, just kind of sleeping and then, oh, we're under attack, and all of a sudden a ton of guards come running into your bedroom. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that would be the worst. I love the small gardens really... here as well. Just fills up the courtyard. It looks like we got some cabbage. Uh, what is this? Is this hemp? Legumes. Legumes. Um, or beans, I think. Carrots. I guess this is some fictional water mint. I guess this is just like spices and things. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is the uh, spot where they would put all the poo, maybe? Perhaps. It's, it looks like so yes. with all the flies. Yeah. And here's a cart bringing the poo. That is such a neat design. I love that. Oh, totally I just everything. love these designs. Conquest Reforged, it's just great. Yeah. Like, I've been <laughs> playing a lot of vanilla recently, as you are aware, and I guess I can't walk through doors. It glitches me out. Weird. I can't. No. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> let's fly maybe over. Maybe it's a bug door. <laughs> just it might fly be, over it's the door. It's not a door, it's a gate. Uh, so maybe the game just It's a little know. posturing gate, a little sally port type deal. Now these, it's actually quite interesting. He doesn't even have any, um, what do you call it? Uh, extension with a murder hole or anything over this like door. Boardings? It's just a door yeah. in the wall. Oh wait, no, this is another Bailey. Yeah, it's, uh, we, we see continue. that with the wall here. Okay, I didn't realize. That's actually quite neat. I yeah, like that a lot. Well, look how this ch how chubby this chicken looks like in here. He's too fat to get out even. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm too warm in here. I don't want to come out. <laughs> nice and cozy in here. This reminds oh, this me of... This atmosphere is just phenomenal. Check yeah. these trees out. It reminds me of the, um, the forest inside Winterfell, Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They have like, their own little forest inside the courtyard. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. Great job, man. Uh, we got to fly over again. Okay, I guess we can fly. We'll do our little super jump for the day. <laughs> super <Bam>. jump. <laughs> All so, right, let's go up here, actually. I'm kind of curious. There's like this little uh, um, crook back here. I wonder if it leads anywhere. Yeah. Or if it's just a little bit of atmosphere. Oh, look, another, another sally port. Hmm. Maybe not a sally port. Maybe it's a... Uh... Actually, no, I do think this is a sally port. Yeah. But it it's be. not really accessible for the enemy to get to because it's such well-defended... Uh, um, by the use of the terrain. Yeah, and that's like he, he really uses the, the terrain here. But he has a small wall here. Or that might be for the other courtyard we just were in. Yeah, come over here really quick. This is such a neat idea. You see how there's this uh, garter robe oh, right wow. here? Yeah. <laughs> and it poops down into a kind of bucket so that it collects. And then the, um, what do you call it? The poop collector, I forget what they're called. The gong collector would come out here and just scoop it out of the uh, the thing instead of having a big pile of poop to, to clean up, you know? That's this kind of so keeps smart. it a little bit tidy at least. Yeah, and it's useful, you know? For I'm not sure how I feel about this though, right here. Where are you now? There's um, just little windows here on the edge oh, yeah. of the castle on ground level, and I feel like that is a flaw. Well. If we already established that you don't really get up here. Well, I mean, with, with at least a door, there's a, still an element of protection. And yeah, you can true. imagine possibly, I don't know, an assassin or maybe skilled someone skilled could possibly... Well, I guess if they're skilled enough, you could definitely get in the castle, no problem. One yeah, way you, you can sneak a few I guess men in here, true. yeah, definitely. Sneak a few guys in and... I just really like that guard robe idea. What is this right here? Is this like a vent? Some kind of vent. What is this? I'm so curious right now. It looks like. It must be from... Let's see if we can figure out what's inside oh, here. Oh, it must be a fireplace. Perhaps, It yeah. must be a chimney design where there's actually a, a fireplace inside and the smoke exits through there. That, That's the only thing I can think of. Or maybe it's the kitchen, like, ventilation from... We'll have to see when we get to the inside. Yeah. 
let's go ahead and head back through here and uh, come back up through the front. And see, yeah. like, even little things like this, you have a little bit of rock built into the castle, or the castle built into the rock. Like, that's so neat. Like, he could have just done a flat wall all the way down and along, but he utilized a little bit of terrain right there. Yeah. It might help, though, because uh, as we've... Uh, well, he told us it's a real-life castle, so maybe a lot of this is just, like, taken from that. Yeah. Because sometimes I, th I feel like it's hard to get, like, the organics to look good. But if you can take it from a real-life castle, it might help you out a little bit. So let's start in here. I think this is a separate portion of the castle. Looks like a guard area. It has a little kitchen in here. And some storage. I'm trying to figure out what this building is supposed to be for. I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't seen its purpose. It might be like a guard or a servant building. Yeah, I'm thinking ser servants is actually that that actually seems like what it is. Yeah, cuz here we have it another one in guard robes. Oh, nice. There's a little bucket down there. I think there is. I can't really see. <laughs> I feel like if this was for servants, we should have some more beds in here. Yeah. But then again, castles um at, at least not um okay, real I castles. Think it's down they here. weren't full of servants. You got it uh yeah, shift okay, click. Shift a little bit. Um, I'm gonna bang usually, my head it would that. only be a few servants because uh, obviously the less servants you have, the more um, you know, the more chance you have to trust them. You know, if yeah. you have a whole ton of servants, it's so easy to you know for the for a few of them to get lost in the the fray or you know just become unknowns. Whereas you know, I'd rather have a few loyal servants than a many unloyal servants. Yeah, absolutely. I really like that gilded. Um, uh, design up there, that gold and everything. It's yeah. above the front gate and also this gate right here. I really like that. It adds such a neat little contrast. Yeah, this all just leads into a small courtyard again. Wow. And something neat about this courtyard, as we learned on the signs that he written on the uh, the side edge of the plot, this is actually a um, purposely built inner courtyard where there is a cistern in the middle. The idea is, is that all of the rainwater that would fall on all of these roofs, as you can see, all these roofs are angled into this courtyard. All that rainwater would fall into here and into a well type thing. Let's go ahead and jump to game mode three really quick. And check this out. Right underneath here is this uh, neat little reservoir where water can collect. And this can be, this is nice little drinking water for the castle inhabitants. Because obviously, at being on such a high altitude, it is quite a bit above the water table. Meaning that having a fresh water source is a necessity. So yeah. definitely neat one, little feature there. One thing here, I'm pretty sure you didn't notice. Look at the droplets here. Can you see those? Yes, I do. Yeah. Wow. That means it's placed one water block just above like a slab oh, or something such, here. That is such good detail. Wow. See, stuff like this just, I mean, I, obviously I already knew this, but people, when people actually do stuff like this for their builds, it just adds such a neat effect and yeah. just really brings it together. Like who would come down here and still he put in the, the effect of dropping water or water droplets. Just incredible. Really cool. Okay, so shall we continue? Yes. Um, okay, so this I guess this is like the main entrance here. So we can go in here and... Okay, Not that's already. just a small storage, I guess. I guess there's really nothing in here, is there? No. So this must be the main entrance up here. I also noticed the courtyard design. The only way to get up to the main entrance is you've got to go around a full loop. Yeah. That maximizes defense because what happens is you can have uh, guards with uh, crossbows all up along this balcony up here, shooting down on the enemies as they're trying to enter. Yeah, that's super smart. Love it. All right, let's see. Eric, can you open this door? There we go. Well, can you open them? I can open them, but for some reason I can't walk. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> huh. Last time I was opening doors and I tried to walk through it, glitched me. Weird. Just okay, so this is a kitchen? Oh, I think it's a or pantry. Or no, it's a pantry. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. 
But this is definitely a kitchen. And this is the kitchen. <laughs> what a great design for a fireplace. Oh, I love when they build like the grand fireplaces like this. I never do that. Yeah, I like always the keep them wall. small. Yeah. And like the big like uh, ventilation. I don't know. Yeah, nice little chimney right here. It's a uh, chimney scoop in order to collect all the smoke to get up yeah. into the uh, the shaft there. That's just beautiful. really cool. And also notice the baker's oven over here. Oh yeah. I really That's like cool. designs like this. It just and also the overall color scheme just works together. You got the gray contrasting with the darker kind of uh, grungier colors, and it just works together so nicely. Yeah. And of course, you get a nice little picture of the king right there, or the lord or duke, whoever owns the castle. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the builds on the server here has the same king. Exactly. <laughs> Even Lumiere has the same king. So. Yeah. <laughs> it would I be think... nice to have uh, some more variety <laughs> yeah. of paintings in the future. I, I think that's coming in the future. So this is where we started again, just like the main en okay. entrance here. Um, it's not too grand to be like a castle. I guess it serves the purpose it has to. Uh, this is a rather realistic design, though. I mean, it's yeah. if it's it's not for a king. A castle like this would be designed for a duke or um, a lower lord of sorts. And yeah. obviously, it being more of a defensive castle, it's, not, it's less of a palace. And so the interior design and less ornate feel, uh, I feel like, fits for a castle of this nature. Definitely. But then again, I mean, you do have lots of hints of um, kind of the rich opulence that a lord would have. You know, you have nice little flower pots, you got a chessboard. Um, obviously, you got nice little um, wall paneling and really mm. beautiful fireplaces. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of a mix, and I really like it. Yeah. I mean, check this fireplace out. It's so good. So cool. I've never thought of using those blocks together. That's so nice. But I, I love just building castles or looking at castles where it's built... Uh, like defensive it's built to be a defensive build but then you just add like the, um, the wealth to that but uh was there anything in here oh yeah the staircase. uh there's a stairway to come up and it looks like there is a more opulent bedroom up here that might be like the duke's room or it may be but i'm trying to f i guess the design of this is this would be where the duke actually lives and Oh, and it, and I kind of want to go back down really quick. Yeah. It seems like the room down below would be his, I guess, his like living room, his living space. Like he would, uh, like visitors would come in here maybe, and kind of wait on him. Yeah, and, and then he would come down and meet with them here, like a private or a staircase kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And then he would uh, obviously sleep up here. And I guess there is more up here. I'm yeah, it, it connects to... to the rest of the castle. It looks like. There's a door back here. What is this? Okay, this has to have a purpose of some sort. There's I don't a know shovel where you are, and man. a lamp in here. Oh yeah, here. So I'm just kind of curious. Maybe it's part of the chimney. Maybe they're here to shovel like chimney suit. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Maybe it's just a closet. It beats me. I have no clue. Maybe they're digging into the wall here to expand a little bit. You know, the, the castle walls used to be super thick. Yeah, I don't maybe, know, man. Maybe they're digging a little bit. Or fixing, I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, here's the garter robe with that little poop hole down there. I'm sorry, the uh, like the little bucket. Oh, yeah. And I'm still trying to figure out where that vent is. We must be uh, above we're way it past now. the vent. Yeah, we need to go down or No, again. we're not. We're not. Actually, we're, we're not. almost to the vent. Okay. Let's keep going this way. The vent is approximately right here. Oh. So, here it is right here. But this this is obviously I would I would think this is a chimney right here. The the vent is right behind that. Yeah. But I think we should go down again because we missed a lot of the first or second floor. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean <laughs> it's so confusing to make it through castles. And that's actually a purposeful design yeah. to confuse invaders. I also like the looks of it, because it feels more realistic and more lived in when there's a lot of different yes. pathways and Okay, go. here we are. Here we are. This is this is it. Wait, is it? Where no, are it's you? Not. <laughs> Come back. Yeah, this this is where the vent was. <laughs> you just totally walked off. Yeah, no, I went no, back, come back down, down again. Back down, back down. Back down. Okay. Yes. 
I found the uh, the feast hall. Oh, here we go. All right, and follow me this way, and this goes into a oh. nice big dining room. Yeah, big old oh, roast yeah. pig in the middle of the table. I remember seeing this from the outside. All righty, let's uh, let's dine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't sit. Remove, take the block out of your inventory. Or yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Oh man. Oh, this is beautiful. Love it. Also, I want you to notice that the fireplaces aren't lit. That's actually pretty realistic. Obviously, fires wouldn't be on all the time. Only during the uh, feast times and such. And the winter. Or the if winter it's cold. you would have all the, all the fireplaces at once, I guess. Yes, on the, in the winter time, for yeah. sure. So here, there's... If we go back... Where are you now? All right, I'm coming <laughs> back. I'm sorry. I was just seeing if there's any other uh, extensions to the feast hall. Yeah, this is so weird walking around here. So hard. <laughs> uh, there's two right. more entrances here. So let's oh, try... wow, there's a chapel in here. Oh, my oh, wow. gosh. Ooh, Check beautiful. this out. Such a nice design. Oh, so much inspiration. Look at the colors. They work so well together. Yeah. I love this. Is it a shrine or what is this called? Yeah, this is a... Um, I guess I guess less of a shrine and more of like an effigy, more or less of, uh, you know, this is a Christian. Um, I guess an altar makes sense, like just a nice ornate altar, and you got a couple pictures of saints, and then uh, this would be like a place where they would come up and kneel. Yeah. Or maybe not. Maybe this. I think they here. Maybe they would kneel behind yeah. the fence. I think that makes sense. And then they would sit in these uh, these pews for prayer. Yeah, that's great. So nice. Uh, and then there's I kind of want to make my way up to here. that balcony. Yeah, I we think we're getting there, there if we continue. But there's one more smaller here. What? Oh, this goes up again. To get us kind of weird. This is not a pantry. Got a neat little storage area. And this goes into. Wow. Okay, I'm getting lost again. <laughs> totally out of sorts. Okay, I have no okay, clue where we are. Okay, this goes down to um, where we just were here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little mirror here. So it's just a small... All right, I found it. This is where the uh, balcony to... Oh, this is such a nice room. This oh, is wow. the quote-unquote green room, if I'm not <laughs> mistaken. That uh, he mentioned on the signs on the edge of the plot. I think so. And this supposedly is designed from the real-life castle. Yeah. Um, apparently, this was one of the surviving rooms of the castle, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm sure Santi will correct us in uh, the comments if it's not. Yeah. This is so nice. I love this because this this really does portray tr uh, true opulence of the uh, the lord that lived here. You know, maybe he's a really rich lord and has just like lots of wealth, and then this is where his more wealthy visitors would come and uh, meet with him. Yeah, I, like I love for, this stream uh, here as well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful crown molding. Love it. Okay, is look. there any other doors out of here? Or is that the only way out? Don't think, I think so. That's, I think this is the only way. They should. I feel like there should be a fireplace in here, but yeah, I don't know. Now, sometimes rooms would be heated by the rooms below, so it's possible that this chimney goes down to a fireplace, and then that fireplace would provide enough heat to uh, heat the floor and this room. Perhaps, yeah. All right, let's make our way up this ladder here. Is there anything up here? Looks like just an attic space, nothing really. Oh, wow, lots of attic space. This is well, yeah. just awesome. <laughs> somebody somebody had a bad day up here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I know where you went. <laughs> uh, come back up to the attic. There's a, yeah, ladder. Come back up. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. go. Well, you're super come spooky over here. because you have a skill on. Oh, wow, I didn't see this. Oh. Come check this out. Somebody had a bad day. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes sense that there's flies up here because the attic spaces would be very, very hot and yeah. flies would congregate in areas like this. Also moist. And also, so like, dead bodies moistens. are supposed to stink as well, so. Yeah. So that would suck. That's <laughs> <laughs> actually right above the green room. So, like, they would be down there sitting just kind of having a good old time. And, like, what's that smell? Oh, oh it's just a rotting person up above us. Oh, okay. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Um, All right. So this where is... to now? Oh, wow. I suppose this is okay. the donjon we're making our way up right now. Yeah, I think uh, since the, the layout is kind of weird, is that some of it is from the old donjon, 
Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then some of this is like newer extensions. Um, like here leads back to, if I'm not mistaken, the, um, the Lord's the room. The Lord's room, yeah. And then... Looks like we got a nicer room here. And judging by the sewing machine, I would say this is probably the Lady of the Castle. Yeah. And I also have seen back here, there's a nicer bedroom with uh, two small beds. I would say this is probably where the kids are. Yeah, would make sense. And this will then be in the dungeon, I think. Yes, this okay. is all in the dungeon. So We're here... in the back corner of uh, Reifenstein right now. And this makes more sense, like the old dungeon is so much more simplistic. The way it's built. I'm trying to figure out what this room would be here, though. Like, this looks like where guards would be, but it's kind of in a odd place, seeing that it's right above where the uh, the kids sleep. Yeah. Here's the, the guard robe as well here. Ah, another guard robe. Yeah. Oh, I just, I just love guard robes. It's just, gotta have poop holes, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's this, oh, this is an attic space, okay. Nice little armor stand up here. Very cool. There's a uh, stairway back here that leads further up into the tower. Okay. Got a nice little armory. Oh, wow. What a great design oh, for Oh, yeah. Right. That is cool. Like, this this really gives me the vibes. Yeah, this and there's so a few nice. beds here as well. Are you able to open this door right here? For some reason, I feel like reinforced doors glitch out for me, not allowing me oh, to yeah. walk through. Oh, these ones, I, no, we cannot. Um, oh, but there's another door back here. We, we can just fly We can do that. a slash through, though. Yeah, but there's another small balcony here we kind of missed. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to check that out. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, no! <laughs> well, well, it's I kind of cool. Uh, went through everything. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to do a little flyby type deal. This okay. here is... has this a very nice view over the, the rest of the area here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Like, just imagine a massive bog out there in the, uh, as far as the eye can see. Yeah. What a great uh, design for a castle here. So let's Beautiful. see if we can get through. Did you get through the door? Yeah, I did. Let's do slash through, and that gets us into a, looks like a further uh, extension. Yeah. This I would like guess this is probably a place where someone would sleep right here. Like uh, guards and such, they would not have like opulent bedrooms. They would just kind of have little stuff on the floor to sleep on. So that yeah. really does make sense. But I wonder now, if I guess... there's uh, like the dungeon was or used as like the dungeon. Um, yeah, the so day. it makes sense. There'd probably be some type of, um, I guess, like holding area. Yeah, there. I was kind of wondering because we haven't seen the dungeon yet. I have found a place where it seems like a bunch of guards would sleep up here in the attic. Yeah, that makes sense. There's just swords and stuff here as well and some food. Yeah. And I did see one more ladder and it leads up this away. Also, I've noticed that there's not really any cellars in this castle, which I no. guess makes sense because making cellars is quite an effort because you got to dig out yeah. all of that stuff underground. So I suppose um, having no cellars makes sense. I guess this is about it. There's really no other uh, interior that I can think of. I mean, I feel like we've pretty much explored this castle. Yeah, definitely. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, I can't make your way through. All right, well, let's just do slash through. through and do. A, <laughs> let's yeah. just do a fly around now. I feel like we've pretty much seen that whole castle. Oh, by the way, another neat detail. Uh, I'm not sure if this is purposeful or not. It might just be for depth, but up here on the top of the donjon, there's these little holes in the walls. Um, now, yeah, it's maybe not purposeful, but uh, these little holes in um, the medieval era, obviously, they would need somehow to put scaffolding on the walls. And so they would put boards into that, and it would be used as a platform in order for them to continue building masonry I or actually, plastering. I think it might be for hoardings as well. It's a, yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Like, have, it uh, adds, you can put boards here. into them, and it adds a neat little uh, detail there. Yeah, so th there's a door here as well from the top part, so you could um, put hoardings oh, all the way around. Oh, is there actually stuff up here? Yeah, that's oh, yeah, just well there. So it's just, uh, you could put hoardings on to keep on fighting, even though like the rest of the castle is already taken. The dungeon would be secure. Oh, this, oh, this is so, so beautiful. Nice. 
I really like the use of the yellow tutor block, or I'm sorry, the trap doors, the yellow tutor trap doors yeah. for the shutters. I've always it just used has a neat one. little, it has a neat little uh, contrast yeah. in there. And also he doesn't really use like, you notice how a lot of, uh, for me, for example, I use spruce or something like that for roof borders. He just does the uh, normal roof all the way down yeah. and then uses the, uh, what even is this block called? It's uh, the beam block. I really like that. And I, <laughs> I really want to try to do that on my <laughs> own builds in the future. It's just such a, uh, it's a good design. Definitely. I know also, I really like this view from back here. If you come back and you look up, you'll see it is just nice. I mean, it's, it's just a flat wall, yes, but it's just it looks so imposing and yeah, intimidating. And also, I like the way that it kind of flows. It kind of gets taller and taller. So when yeah, you're standing it's balanced. Here, yeah, it kind of it just works. It follows the terrain. It's a balanced build. The heights are good. The depth is good. The detail is amazing. The realism is there. <laughs> I'm just I'm floored by the uh, the castle. I'm I'm just kind of looking around. Is there any like little miscellaneous details, like uh, I don't know, a cave or something like that that we haven't seen? I don't think so. I think um, I feel like he just did realistic terrain. Yeah, the terrain is beautiful, by the way. Yes, the small that's plateaus sure. with trees and just wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, Santi ninety two absolutely incredible job with your castle Riefenstein thank you so much for allowing us to showcase your plot um honestly I don't really have many critiques for a plot like this this is just it's insane I love it love it to bits it's very realistic also like things like this like look at this it's a flow path <laughs> oh man it's just it's so great I can't see but, where you um, are but <laughs> I just take your word for it yeah like the right like right here the little oh, flow path oh, yeah. coming down from the, uh, you see this little canyon in between, and it flows all the way down into the bog. And also sunken a little bit down into the path here. Well, yep. that was it. I really do hope that you enjoyed a little bit of a longer episode today. Make sure to check out Duke Conrad and give Santi92 some love, guys. He is an amazing builder, and what he's done is just way beyond anything I could ever do. So, check out Duke Conrad. Give Santi92 some love uh, and subscribe and like and all the jazz. And I will see all of you guys later. It's been Vigo, man, and I'm out.